odd collaboration in the past, but it's kind of people I knew already and, and stuff. This is the first time I've kind of been put together through and brought together through a project like this. So that, that was one of the things that drew me to it. Because I knew our best guy, we, we kind of see each other once or twice, but when I knew it was him, I kind of I knew that it would be interesting because he's different to what I do. We all get lost, we all get found, we all need time to breathe. We all need love, we all get hurt, we all need company. I know that you're frustrated, but anyone can see. I know it's complicated. Hey, talk to me. I, I write kind of about things around me as much as I write about me. I think that's true of most artists. You have, you have to use it as an outlet, you have to be honest, you just got to be truthful. You know, because that's the point. Otherwise, that, for me, I don't see the point in trying to present anything. So, so to write it in the first place, you should be honest with yourself. Yeah. You know, and you shouldn't... You, the last thing I could, I could, I would ever want to do is sit in a room, write something got me on and kind of not, not get out what exactly what I'm trying to say. That's, that's the challenge of it. That's like the great journey that you go on as a songwriter, just how, how, how far in can you get to yourself. The more personal ones often get the strongest reactions. Gigs is just one of those things that some people can just, uh, just latch onto it and they can just feel it in a room. And you can, you can perform it in a more honest way. Songwriter, you do it all at a desk in some ways to use it. But just having that opportunity to just, you know, because it does become positive then. Um, and, you know, I get like, other people have different ways of doing it, obviously, different. Like, you, you obviously have different kinds of artists and different forms of expression and stuff. I mean, some people cook, don't they? That's, in some ways, that's, that's their way of dealing with it. it. You know, getting their creative energy or whatever they've got. Um, but the, the music's just so easy and that and not easy but it's it's music's just such a direct way of doing it. And it's it's uh, very cathartic. Valentine's is is, is a special day for, for a lot of people. And if you're in a relationship it's it's great and some people really love it and some people are more relaxed about it. But whenever I've not been in a relationship it's never quite quite upset me to be honest when it comes down. But I am aware that it does make you aware that you're single. I think what, what me and I still to do is um, imagine somebody who, who has been in a relationship who is no longer in a relationship who uh, when it comes to Valentine's Day it could it could trigger a lot of negative feelings, a lot of, a lot of sadness. And, and what, what we tried to do is think about that and then kind of write, write something that would try and bridge, bridge the gap from between that and, and being in a place where you, or you're not with anyone and it's Valentine's and kind of you see couples together but it's, it's okay, you know, there, 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 are, there are other friendships there, there are other relationships as well. So the, the, the friend, a friendship is, you know, is equal as important as a romantic relationship. And I guess that's what that's what we were going for, just the kind of friend saying to another person, you know, I'm here. Oh, yeah.